Hi everyone, this is Dr. Shweta Goswami, Infertility and IVF Consultant in NOIDA and Delhi NCR. I want to speak today on the topic of a very common issue called PCOS or Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome. PCOS as we know is a sign of a hormonal imbalance. It is not a disease per se, it's actually a lifestyle issue with us, with our sedentary lifestyles, with our eating more high carbohydrates and fats and the kind of genetics we have today, PCOS as a disease is on the rise. PCOS can have different problems at different stages of our life, right? It can lead to menstrual irregularities, it can lead to difficulty in conceiving, it can lead to later problems in life such as cardiovascular diseases, diabetes, etc. My focus today would be on what to do if you are having a difficulty in conception and you've been put in the diagnosis of PCOS. So PCOS is basically a hormonal imbalance where the egg development is not proper. As we understand for natural conception, we have to have an egg and the sperm uniting together to create an embryo. So at the first level itself, if you're not looking at an ideal egg development, PCOS therefore can make it harder for us to conceive um, vis a vis other patients. So the first sign of PCOS is if we have irregular cycles, if our cycles are coming at a interval of more than 40 to 45 days if they're too irregular we know without doing any tests that you might have some hormonal imbalance and the egg development is not happening correctly and therefore how would pregnancy happen two you might be having absolutely regular cycles but on deeper probing on deeper tests and ultrasound it might be discovered that the egg development is not happening properly the good news about PCOS, of course, is one, it's one of the most treatable conditions of fertility, which does not require usually any extensive treatment like IVF. In fact, IVF, etc. would be required in probably less than 5% of PCOS patients. 95% can get treated by lifestyle modifications, by simple medical treatment alone. And that's the important thing that we should get our diagnosis done correctly and at the right time and start ovulation induction. So the lifestyle modification has a big role to play in PCOS because in case you're obese, in case you have hormonal imbalance like insulin resistance, you need to start losing weight, you need to start exercising. It's actually 50% of the work as far as PCOS treatment is concerned. If on your further testing, it's realized that egg development is not happening as per its optimal growth, then there are simple medications. If simple medications do not work, we move on to a combination of medicines and injections to help you make good eggs. And then if you try at the important right time, it can give you good results. Of course, whenever we try naturally with medicines, with injections, we need to understand that our chance of success at every cycle is going to be at a maximum of 20 to 25%. So we need to be very patient with our fertility treatment. We need to understand that it might work out in the first cycle. However, it could take more. So we have to be at it and continue it for at least three to six cycles before we feel that, okay, this is not working out and maybe we should move on to something else. Because importantly, we need to understand that even an absolutely healthy man and a healthy woman may take up to 12 months to conceive naturally. That's when it's called infertility. And therefore in PCOS, when you're not even looking at proper egg development, we have to actually work at the same thing for at least three to six months, get proper egg development, get very good uh, findings before we say, oh, this is not working on and let's move on to something else. And that something else could be tubal testing, that could be laparoscopy or IVF as a final procedure. However, most PCOS patients, if corrected, treat, or corrected rightly, should be able to conceive with simple treatments until unless the PCOS is really severe enough to mandate a laparoscopic ovarian drilling or IVF. 50% of the work, again I repeat, is lifestyle modification, trying to lose weight, even if our BMI is okay, exercise properly to get the PCOS in control. And I wish you all the very best, but if working in the right direction, PCOS can give excellent results as far as our journey to conceiving is concerned. Thank you for your patient hearing. For any more details, you can visit our website zivafertility.com or you can text me at 9717 111 Thank you.